Hello people, this is a quick video to show you how I set up my Amarill tanks. Here we go. What I use for this is a chunk of slate, because it's warm stone. Now that it matters, that's going to be for the base. Cork bark, which is going to be placed as the base so it won't fall over. Sphagnum moss, and one of these things, glue gun. Brilliant stuff. Okie okay, dokie. Okay. Well, to start this off, you make sure you get your slate clean. Place the wood to be on it on the base, like here. And then make sure it's nice and flat and sturdy and all surfaces are clear. Get your glue gun. Watch your fingers, these are very, very hot. And place glue at the base and around the edges in small parts to make sure it's stuck down rather well. Be generous, give it plenty. And once that's in the process of drying, get some sphagnum moss, stick, and parts of the glue will hold the sphagnum moss. Whilst the parts that don't can be taken off and then replaced a little later. And then I need more glue, typical. Okie dokie, on we go, a bit more. There you go, plenty of helpings in there to make sure this thing won't fall over in your tank. Again, some more sphagnum moss. This sticks to the glue. Lovely. So, I don't only use stones in tarantula tanks, but as this is an Arborel setup, your spider won't go anywhere near the base anyway. This is just as a counterweight so the wood holds in its right place. And there's no chance of it rocking and falling over and killing the little thing. So, uh, yeah, all good stuff. Okay, here we go. Round and round a bit more. There we go. Oh, go watch your fingers. This stuff's a molten plastic. Right. Good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. So you can take the excess away and you'll see the bits that are stuck. They're stuck in the glue and the bits that aren't can be replaced and more added later. Okay, that's firm so far. Probably don't need much more than that, but I started to finish. Slowly but surely. All good stuff, looking good so far. Very basic to do, very easy to do. This is a slate, a space slate tile from an old kitchen of mine that I smashed up with a hammer into four consecutive pieces, which fit the base perfectly for my spider room Arboreal 8x8 by 16 tanks. I measured this, this will fit in the base, there will be plenty of substrate to cover the sides up against the acrylic so you won't see the slate at all, all you're going to see is the base of the tree and it's I mean, that's solid, that, that's not, not going to go anywhere which looks absolutely fantastic actually quite happy with that, that added effect we can run a bit of glue up the sides, add a bit more sphagnum moss, give it the desired effect. Oh, ouch, 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 ouch. All good stuff. <laughs> very good, this, very good. Plus, I mean, when you spray the tank, then this holds moisture running up. 
the bark rather than just all in the substrate at the base, which can't be a bad thing really. So uh, yeah, all good stuff. Once I've done this, I'll show you the finished setup. And let's see how we get on. Get a keep up, make a fine glue web as we speak. Yep, all looking good. Remove excess, obviously. And the base. A lot of it, this moss, I should have dried it out a bit more actually because it's still a bit moist so it doesn't stick to the glue as well as it should but it does a job you live and learn right. okay, okay. oh good ah, ow 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 oh sod ah. <laughs> yeah, don't try this at home kids well do but Make sure you don't burn your fingers. Right. There we go. Just excess off. Oh, all looking good. Need to add a bit more at the bottom. And here. Might even add a bit more at the side as well, actually. We'll give it a nice bit of sphagnum moss up there. Because it just looks great. The more we can get it to look like a forest, the better, don't you think? I think so, anyway. I don't... I like my terrariums to look as natural as the habitat they should be in. And as this is for either for my Vesicolor <coughs> or one of my Samoporus um, species <coughs> I'm going to try and make them as natural for them as possible and let's just add a bit more there get over the top that's the way I don't think that was glue. Nice. Right. Ow, 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 ow. That's it. All looking good. Nice little barrel for the spider to go down. I picked this piece of wood because basically, even though it's still a tube, you can still see, I don't know if you can see from there, uh, it's a bit dark, but I can still see to the base from here and there. So if I shine a flashlight in there, I can still see where the T is. I'd like to be able to see them, not because you know I want them to do tricks for me and all the rest of it, but just because if they're in pre mold or if maybe they're in a bit of trouble, I'd like to be able to know when I can help them out, basically. So uh, it's like this bit here where I cracked some wood off. 